Hey, what's up guys? Houston here. Look, would you like to get at least three to four trade lines, primary trade lines, not authorized user, primary trade lines on your credit with one hard inquiry? Okay, if that's you, then this video is definitely going to help you because I'm talking about how you can use this credit union, DCU, Digital Credit Union, all right, to three to four trade lines on your credit file with one hard pull. Now, understanding how do you even join DCU? Well, the way you join, you can join through the Reach Out for School program, and I think it's maybe about ten dollars to join that program now here's the thing about it that i like about dcu they do offer business accounts and business credit cards and i always tell you guys when you join in a credit union try to see if you join in a credit see if you can join a credit union that offers not only personal accounts but business accounts and dcu definitely fits that criteria now here's the other thing about it with DCU, you're able to do soft pull. That's right. Like, say that you want to see if you qualify for a credit card or a loan, they offer soft pulls on the application. So that's very good. Now, who do they pull? Well, DCU, they pull Equifax 5, okay, on the mortgage. So for those of you that have no idea what an Equifax 5 uh, FICO score is, click the link in the description and get your real credit file. If you want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation, and I can go over that with you, okay, and show you how to actually leverage each of your credit files so that you can get the maximum amount of funding. That being said, here's the thing about it. They offer credit builders, right? So they offer credit builders. Now their credit builders go from 500 up to 3,000 on the credit builders. But they also offer secured credit cards as well. If you are a member of DCU for up to six months, up to six months, they will give you a no credit pool loan a no credit pool loan from 200 up to 2000. Now, here's where the magic happens. Say that you've been with them, you get the $2,000 of no hard pool, right? It's called a quick loan, by the way. Now, with this $2,000, if I were you, I would take that money, I would put the money in the credit builder and in the secured card. So now, you have three trade lines, right? Now, here's the thing about it. Using those trade lines for at least six months. And I would always tell you guys, make sure that you try to keep your percentage usage rate under 10%. So that way you can get the maximum amount of benefits from, from these three accounts. And another reason you want multiple accounts like this on your credit file, one, is that it's going to balance out the file. Because a lot of people that have challenging credit, what happens is they just start applying for uh, credit cards, right? I got to get credit cards, got to get credit cards. But they don't realize that 10% of your file, you have to have some type of loan. If you don't have some type of loan, you th you're your file is off balance, okay? So this satisfy not only with the secured card, but also satisfy with the loan to help you build up your credit, help stabilize the file, all right? And again, for every negative item that you actually have on your credit file, I always tell you, you should have at least two, excuse me, two to three uh, trade lines uh, to make up for that one negative trade line anyway, all right? This is the reason that, like I said, if you have bad credit, then this may be one of the better credit unions, all right? This is even before you start looking to try to apply for, like, their regular credit cards or something like that. Thicken up the file is what you want to do. Now, another way for you to thicken up the file, if you uh, have, like, uh, rent payments and stuff like that, taking that secured card, hook it up with plastic, and if you're paying, like, with a money order or you're paying cash for your rent, what you want to do, you want to stop that, okay? Sign up with plastic, P-L-A-S-T-I-Q uh, dot com. Hook your debit card up, excuse me, your secured credit card up to that. Then put the money for your rent on the secured credit card and let plastic send out the check. 
That way you start having a paper trail. And so now you're able to actually have that information picked up so it can report on your credit file. Now, why is this important? The reason it's important is because it's not only going to um, help build up your credit, but it also puts you in a better position to get a mortgage. A lot of people are, in these days are paying a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars in rent, but they're not getting any credit for it. So if you actually show that for at least a year to two years of one-time payments of rent payments now, and there are companies that can back age uh, your credit file, help you age your credit file by actually paying, uh, showing rent payments on it or whatever. What it does is help you qualify for the uh, FHA mortgages, all right? And by the way, for those of you that are interested in an FHA mortgage, they just changed up the game because now they're letting people have 40-year mortgages. That's right. So no longer, well, I wouldn't say no longer, but if you need to have a longer mortgage up to an extra 10 years from the 30 to the 40. Now FHA is willing to do that. Also with the new FHA, again, helping you build your credit, FHA, when they do uh, mortgages and stuff like that to help you qualify, now they pull your uh, Vantage 4. Now with most banks, uh, like your major banks, like uh, Chase Bank, like they will give you a Vantage 3 score, right? And I keep telling you all, like with Credit Karma, uh, companies that offer Vantage 3 do not rely on those. With your mortgage scores, what uh, Vantage 4 does, it actually shows what the activity, cause it start counting in rent payments, utility payments, things of that nature. Also, they pull your FICO TNT. Your TNT, that T stands for trending. So what it does, it looks at the, the actual data that's been happening on your credit file for the past two years. All right. Now, I know for some of you all, you may not have heard of this or didn't even think that you're able to qualify for a mortgage this easy. It actually is. That's the reason you want to build up your credit. Now, going back in reference to if you're trying to get full. By you having those three trade lines reporting, plus you having your rent payments, you can also have your utility payments uh, showing up. You can sign up with Experian Boost. You can sign up with Grow Credit. So if you have subscriptions like Netflix, Hulu, Spotify, and stuff like that, there are companies that will report those subscriptions on your credit file at, fir at first as well. Now, if you also looking for some primary unsecured credit cards and you have challenging credit, you may want to look at the credit.ai. They give you $1,500 as long as you can show uh, deposits into your account. You have uh, Opfi. Opfi will give you $1,000. And please understand, like with Opfi and uh, Credit AI, they may not go nationwide, okay? But I think Opfi goes up to at least 37 states or something like that. But the thing about it is being able to get the unsecured credit cards as well. So with Opfi, gives you a $1,000 credit card and then good on-time payments. Uh, after six months, they double it to $2,000, okay? So now that's going to give you five primary trade lines to help you balance out your file. And if you manage the accounts the way, you shouldn't have a problem with getting your credit score back over that 740 to 780 credit score, all right? Now, if you have any other questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, click the link in the description, schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.